How was it working with Red? Did you guys get along most of the time? We got along all the time. Yeah? You know, there's nothing not to get along with. You know, you're making a ton of money for each other. What, 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 what are you kidding me? <laughs> I, know people that, I know people that are married can't stand their partners, but they stay there because the money's there. <laughs> Red, 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 and I, Red and I, of course we got along. We never got in a fight over anything. Never had a, we never said an unkind word to each other. Um, I, he, he hurt me when, uh, when he decided to walk away. Yeah. Because he didn't tell me. And we were partners. We shared everything. And I was walking down the hall at NBC. And then I talk, I speak about it in the book. I'm over it now. But uh, Abernathy, who was the, he, he, God rest his soul, he passed away. He was the anchor at NBC in those days. He came up to me and he says, Well, Demana, how do you feel? It's the end of an era. And I'm, I don't know what he's talking about. I said, What are you talking about? He said, you know, uh, it's in the papers all over the trades that Red is uh, he's done. Wow. And, uh, and it, was like I, it was like somebody shot me in, in the stomach with a, a shotgun. I, I, could, I was barely able to, to make it back to my dressing room. And I sat down, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to think. Yeah. And I, I, I called my wife, and I said, honey, I, I'm, I'm confused. And she said, yeah, I, I know that's uh, your nature. What will you want? I <laughs> said... <laughs> I said, no, sweetheart, I'm serious. You know, she's a joker. I said, uh, Red said he's, he's, he's done. It's in the trade papers. And so she said, well, okay, well, then do what you have to do. Yeah. And I said, well, I, you know, I want to hear from I want to hear it from him. And I never did. It's like the old Duke Ellington song, Do Nothing Till You Hear From Me and You Never Will. Yeah. And and I, uh, I, was, I was hurt. I never confronted him. I never opened my mouth. I never said, how could you do this? Uh, because I had a million dollar contract at CBS, so I mean I wasn't hurt financially. Mm-hmm. He did, he did hurt some people that lost their jobs. Yeah, because uh, they didn't have they didn't have contracts, and uh, it was it, I I didn't speak to him from, from we finished the last show in 1977. Uh, we didn't speak again until 1983. Wow! And that was the that was that was the last time I saw or spoke to him because he passed away. Yeah. And I, and I felt kind of bad about that because I loved Red. It was a, it was a, our relationship was one of trust and, and one of love. And you can't have the kind of chemistry that Red and I had on television. You can see it now, 30-some years later. Yeah. Uh, you can't act that. That's not acting. No, it did seem like you guys were genuinely father and son. It, it really well, did. I, it, it was it totally st- believable. It started out mentor, you know, student, and, and then it became... Um, father, son, and then it became older brother, younger brother. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I loved that he was, I was like his, he didn't have a son. I, I, I became his son. As a matter of fact, he tried to marry his daughter off to me and I said, no, that's <laughs> just, that's just too much damn family. I can't, <laughs> you know, I had to come home. I had to work with you all day and then come home and see you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would make for a bad work relationship eventually. Yeah, sweet yeah. girl, but, you know, why is her eye black? Uh, I don't know, she fell. <laughs> uh, Red and I never had a bad, uh, had a negative word to, to, uh, toward each other, and it was a, it was a love thing. I, I love Fox. I, mm-hmm. uh, he's so funny. I used to walk in in the morning and take his cap off and hit a ball spot. <clears throat> yeah. and I'd kiss him on the ball spot. And, and he wouldn't say anything. And this one particular morning, he didn't say anything. And I said, what's wrong with you? I didn't sleep with you last night. You, know, you can't speak to somebody. He said, you could have. I was just laying up there in the bed with my wife. You could have come on in there and got in the bed with us. <laughs> <laughs> we were in Vegas at Caesar's Palace. And, yeah. and, and, and Red's favorite, his game of choice was, uh, was uh, Keno. Oh, yeah. And uh, it didn't matter where he was in the casino. If he was in the toilet, the restaurant, the rooftop, because they used to fly him in a helicopter from NBC on, after we'd take on Friday uh, so he could do his midnight show in Vegas. Uh-huh. And it didn't matter where Fox was in the casino. He was going to play Keno. <laughs> and his, his drink of choice was Chevis Regal. And so this one particular night, Red was like, how can I say, three sheets to the wind. Yeah. And, and he hit. For fifty thousand dollars, <gasps> and he and he and he, he he got up and he he ambled his little short legs over yeah. to the store, <laughs> yeah. And then and he and he and he and he came out and he had a briefcase, attaché case, and a bicycle chain and a lock, you know, like something that you 
chain a bicycle to. Right. And a little padlock. And then he, he, he stumbled over to the desk, got a room, and was headed to the elevator. And I said, Fox, what are you doing? He said, I know y'all saw me win this money. I'm going upstairs and I'm going to put my money in this briefcase and chain myself to the bed. <laughs> I said, what? Are you, have you lost your mind? Why? He said, because if somebody's walking across this, the casino with a briefcase, nobody will stop them. But if they're dragging an old Negro in the bed, somebody will say something. <laughs> so that's insane. That's just simply insane. It but does sound like was, something <laughs> he would say. I, I, you do have a good impression. He was serious. Too. He was serious. <laughs> Like, how are we going to get the bed in the elevator, Fox? Come on. <laughs> uh, now, second you banana. Need to, we wanted $50,000 that bad that we would go in the room, <laughs> drag him out with the bed, <laughs> chain to the bed, through the lobby, out of the hotel. Like, <laughs> that's the way his mind worked. And at that time, you had okay contracts, so it's not like you really needed the $50,000. Well, he didn't care about that. He just he was protecting himself. You know, Red was oh, that, that's the gosh. way he was. His mind was warped. That's funny. He fought funny. He he he. When he was sad, he was funny. When he went through, well, it, it, it's just it, it's just the way his his brain worked. Yeah, and some people you are know. just naturally funny. Everything they say, it just comes out funny, even if they and weren't that's trying. That's the way Fox was. Yeah. Everything he said, you didn't talk to him. You listened and laughed. Yeah. When we first met in his garage at three o'clock in the morning, because uh, that's the only time you could meet with him, because he you know he did shows, and right. his last show got out turned out at three. Was sitting in the garage, he and I and Aaron Rubin, and and he he was hysterical. When I got back to the hotel, my sides and my face was hurting. <laughs> but he he never stopped. He was just kept going and going and going and going. Funny man. Yeah. I, I miss him. At, that's what that's at times I uh, I think about him and uh, you know I have sadness in my heart. Yeah. Because um I could have spent more time with him, but you know sometimes when you're young and stubborn, you 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 know you feel hurt and you walk away. Yeah. Well, check out Second Banana. Thanks so much for being on with us today. Damon, once again, give people the website where people can get your book at. Yeah, the number two. Okay. N is in Nancy, D is in David, banana.net. Okay. It's a, it's a keepsake. It's a piece that you, it'll blow you away because people will think they know about what happened in those yeah. days and they don't. Yeah. yeah. Well, Great thanks. Piece. Thanks for being on today, Damon. You, you've been an it's awesome interview. My pleasure. Interview.